Hello cousins! Today I have a delicious carne guisada recipe, a staple in Dominican cooking. Let's get right to it. I am using two packs of palomilla. Each pack is about a pound and a half and I am going to lay them flat in a large Ziploc bag. I'm going to pound the meat using a kitchen hammer. It's called the meat tenderizer. I have mine available in my Amazon shop. Check it out! Then I'm going to cut my meat into suitable pieces and I repeated the process for the second pack of meat as well. After I wash and clean the meat, I'm going to season it with two tablespoons of sofrito, two tablespoons of garlic paste, a tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of oregano, a teaspoon of adobo, one sazon packet, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and I'm going to mix it well to combine. Then I'm gonna set it aside. For the vegetables, I'm using one yellow onion and one green bell pepper. In my pot going on medium high heat, I'm heating up two tablespoons of oil. Once hot, I'm going to add in one chicken bouillon cube and I toast the bouillon cube for deeper flavor. Then I add in my steak. Allow the steak to sit uncovered for 10 minutes to sweat out the steak. Boom, look at that. Once the meat has sweated its juices, lower the flame to medium and allow it to cook for 20 minutes. At the end of those 20 minutes, add in one tablespoon of tomato paste, combine it into the meat, and add in two cups of water using your sazon bowl. Mix it and raise the flame back to medium high. Close the pot, leaving a slit open for 15 minutes. Then toss in the vegetables and combine with one more cup of water. Cover the pot for another 10 minutes, and in 55 minutes, you have delicious, tender carne guisada. Don't forget your Tupperware, cousin. Dinner is on me. Enjoy.